everybody, how you guys doing today? Today I'm going to be back in my awesome world and I'm going to be giving you guys um, the rest of the tour or trying to get through as much as I can today. Um, I'm back in here. I'm not abandoning the series. I know it's been about two weeks since I uploaded this series, but I am back guys. Um, I'm going to try and finish up this tour today, hopefully. And so where we left off was Veloc Coaster over there. And let me make sure we're still recording. Yep, we're good. Um, we did all this stuff. And we are going to be starting over here. So once I'm done making this tour, we're going to start building my house and all that. Um, well, I mean, I had my house, but I didn't really love it. Like, it wasn't really me. It was kind of just, yeah. I want to make one more me. And then also, I'm going to start actually being a survival series. Um, I'm not just going to have a diamond sword right here. I will eventually, but right now I just did it for the tour um, so I don't get killed. Um, so yeah, let's start right over here. We have the Western Wheel, I believe this is called, and this is one of the rides, like the oldest rides here. Um, it's like, I think it was like the f f second ride made here. It was a very old ride. It's still unrideable. It's, it's been out of order for like six years. However long this park has been here, I believe it has been six years. So yeah, uh, we're not going to get this fixed. It's unrideable, obviously. Enter at your own risk. This is only here because originally this was where the path ended. Obviously, we have a ton more to tour over there now. But this was where the path ended, the ghostly pass. Um... This is like the kind of dark ride. I mean, it's not a shooting dark ride, which I do want to make sometime soon. Um, but yeah, this is just a dark ride. You go past and you see all these scary uh, figurines. Like, I mean, that guy is pretty cool. You know, I mean, it's definitely pretty outdated. Um, that is definitely on my to-do list, make a new dark ride. Um, so then we will have something a lot more fun. Definitely make a shooting dark ride. Um, but... I mean, really, the only reason I haven't gotten rid of it is because, I mean, I can't fly. But this is such a small space. I mean, look right here. We have this. We're right up against the Creeper Coaster. And then we're right up against this game. So, I mean, there's not really much we can do with this land. Um, but if I find something to do with it, I will definitely do that. Okay. Okay. Are there any minecarts that are, like, ready to play? Because I will play this game because it is pretty fun. Um, I think we are ready for this. Um, hopefully I didn't just... Hopefully this isn't going to take forever. But, I mean, you probably get the idea of this game. You have to shoot until you hit all the minecarts. I can't even get one. Come on. Okay, I think I hit that one over there, but it didn't break for some reason. Okay, I'm just going to... Here, do I have any blocks? Okay, I have a lot of blocks. I have all kinds of wood, because I was breaking my old house, actually. So, I got a lot of wood, so... Yeah, I thought I'd be able to do that easier, but yeah. One day we will come back and play this game, though, because it is very fun. Um, let me know if you guys want that to be like a, just a different series, just playing the games, because I think it'd be pretty fun. Rule the Jewel. Um, I will just place down a minecart for this one. Oh, God, no. I, why didn't I get in? Come on. No, no, no. All right. So it's up here. Somebody else will be on the other side. You would have your bow, and yeah, they'd be doing the exact same thing. Um, and then you'd be down here. The floor lights up as you go along with the arrows down here. Or uh, it should, I think it is, yeah. And you try to hit the other person, you know? And then you do that until you hit the other person and you can decide exactly how long you want the game to be. So, pretty fun game. It works well here. Um, let's hit all these over here while we can, while we're over here. That was a memorial for Minecraft the Ride. Uh, my sister made that ride. This is Ricochet. It's a little wild mouse at the park. Um, I kind of want to get rid of it, but I also kind of don't because it's been here forever. Um, it is, like, really one of the only rides from the first wave. Like, if you, you guys will remember, if you guys are, like, diehard fans of the channel, you will remember this ride when I built it, too. So, yeah, I'm not going to ride it. If you really want to see a POV of it, um, you can go back about six years ago on my channel and you'll see it. 
Okay. Um, right here we have take the tooth. Um, you basically go along these. If you hit these pressure plates or the trip wire, then you will wake the kid up. Like, yep, I just woke him up. You try to get on his bed and take his tooth, and then, yeah, you could run back. This is easy. There's medium and hard right there. Pretty cool thing. I'm trying to go a little faster today um, just so we can get through the rest of this. Um, I'm going to try and just get through the rest of it today. Um, this is the raindrops ride. So you basically go all the way up here. This was originally supposed to be a water ride, but it just didn't work as well. Um, I do want to update this ride um, soon, but I'm still developing my ideas. Um, so hopefully it works, but... I'm not sure. Yeah. If I find a way to update it and make it really work better, because this is kind of just not as cool. But yeah, press for boat. So you used to swim up here and then press it and then the boat would come out and then you, this would be where you're going, but with a boat and then you'd actually land in the water, you know, now we just kind of float down slowly with a minecart, but with a boat, you went down a lot faster into the pot of gold. So that was a fun little ride you know i mean it still is but definitely could be a lot better if minecraft didn't do these stupid updates sorry guys my girlfriend was just calling me um way back here we have the lightning rod from dollywood um this is not the updated version i do have to update this so it is a chain lift and <laughs> i'd love doing that I remember I did that in the first video and they freaked out. Here, what if I do this? Ah, you can't get to me. Bzz, aw, you mad? You mad? Womp womp. You're all right. All right, now I'm gonna run. We're gonna get on the ride really fast. Go, 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 go. Are they in here? Please tell me they're not. Where'd they go? I'm sorry. I'm, like, distracted. Where'd you go? Hey. Where did the bees go? Oh. Oh, God. That was a phantom. I'm sorry. I just like hitting the bees. Duh, you're not coming in here. You ain't gonna get me. Duh! Why are you following me now? Oh, shoot. I killed it. Okay. Let's get on the ride. Alright, this is Lightning Rod. Yeah, this is the original version with the launch. So yeah, you launch all the way up here and it slows down at the top. So it's probably going to go around this speed when we update it. Uh, I'll probably do that off video just because it's literally just going to be affecting the lift hill. Other than that, this ride is the exact same back here. Cow. Oh, I didn't hit it. Going on this ride during the sunrise. Um... And then, honestly, going back is going to suck. Maybe I can get up kind of high, like a high place, and then elytra back because, I don't know, I just don't want to have to run all the way back there because it's going to be a long time. I guess I have to, though. Yeah, there's the raindrops ride. That's where we came from. How did it slow? Oh. That was my braking system. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't. Like... You really know. N uh, you really never know, honestly. Ah! Oh my god, there's a lot of them. You guys can't f get me all the way back here. You won't follow me all the way back. Be so for real. Okay, yep, I think they've lost interest. Or they can't get back. Oh my god, they're still coming. Okay, let's get this... Okay, are they still... Oh my gosh, they can still see me. They're actually coming. This is bad. This is really, really bad. This is not good at all, actually. I think, I think I've lost them. 
I think, yeah, I think I've lost them. Yeah, I think they disappeared. All right, guys. So right over here, we have the Switch the Switch minigame, which you switch the switch. So you have another person, and you're trying to get all the way up there um, on sandbox. They can break yours, and you can break theirs. And I believe it's, I don't know, I think it's red that wants it on, and then blue wants it off. Um, and then, yeah, once you get the first switch, then that's what starts the game. And then obviously you'd go there. I don't have any chorus fruit on me. This is risk it. So, oh, you'd be standing right in the middle on the pink and in the white dot. And you'd eat a piece of chorus fruit and it would teleport you somewhere. If you landed on the pink, you'd get three points. Magenta is two. This is one. The black down here means you get nothing. And the glowstone is you lose everything. And basically what you do is say you get only one point, but you want to risk it all try to try to get more points. And then if you land on the black or the glowstone, you don't get anything for that round. So it's a pretty fun game. You can have four players and yeah, you can play until your heart desires. So it's a pretty fun game. It's one of our, it's one of our favorites here. Um, this is Flower Power, which we've never played because we've never had enough people, but we will be playing it very soon. Um, when my sister gets back from her trip, we will definitely make it a point to play this game. Um, it's basically like a battle game, but you have to get all the flowers to your pod. So yeah, very fun game. We just haven't had time to play it yet. Um, yeah, definitely. I'm thinking about making that series about just playing games because there are a lot of games here that have really never been played, honestly. Okay. Right over this way, we have, I believe it's called doggy hockey. And yeah, I don't know if there's a dog here right now. There probably is. Yep. Who is this? Baba, I believe. Yep. This is Harlow's dog. Um, and yeah, you'd, you'd slide him around. Um, until you get him into here and it'll make a noise and you score. Um, if it gets over here in these corners, you hit this and this will slide him right out. It doesn't hurt him at all. So yeah, that is doggy hockey. I should get some ender pearls, honestly. If I'm ever doing another tour again, I'm going to do that. So I can just ender pearls to the next thing because doing all this walking is getting me pretty hungry. I can't lie. Can I get that experience? Here it comes. Come on. Never mind, it's not going. Okay. So, let's go this way. Let's get all the way to this section of the park first. And then we'll loop all the way back around and hit those last ones. So, yeah. We should be able to finish this series today. Or this little thing. I think I have a lot of TNT on me. I do. So I can play this game. So... We would be going for the magenta or purple one. So basically what you have to do on Whale of a Time is... This was a game that Stampy built, but um, it didn't work for the longest time, but they fixed it um, in one of the updates. So it works again now. And it's a very fun game. So we're going to be going for a magenta or purple one. Um, ring. Oh, okay. So yeah. Right down there, I can actually see now. Yep, we're gonna go for, let's go for, yeah, let's go for this one. There we go. Easy as pie, not really. This game is pretty difficult, um, but it's always a fun one to play to see who lands directly on the thing, to see like who dies and all that. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that there to get over here. Here's the bed bounce. I've always loved this game from Stampy's World, but he never built it in his Funland. This was just an Employee of the Month minigame for the Hotel of Dreams, which we will be touring later. Um, so basically, wait, all you have to do, it's basically just a parkour game. Um, I think I could probably finish it right now. But if I fall, I'm not getting back. Like, I'm not trying again. So we have one attempt at this. Um, but we are already to the pillow pile, which is a big pile of beds. Oh, okay, I failed. But, yeah, basically you jump all the way from up there, and you'd have to land in that water, not the cobweb. 
um, and go all the way through and then you can come right back up here in the scaffoldings. So it's a pretty fun little game. Definitely enjoy having it in this park. Um, let's hit Wooshu's Revenge. Um, this is a recreation of Wildcat's Revenge at Hershey Park, but we used to have a wooden coaster here called um, the Wood Woosh. So I figured I'd just call it the Woosh's Revenge. Um, it's pretty fun. Um, it's one of my favorites here. Um, it definitely looks like one of the best here. Um, I love having it kind of on the mountain, making its way down the mountain for the pre-lift and then going back up for the, yeah. It's just, it's definitely a terrain coaster. Um, not exactly, but it's, it's not on flat land, you know? Um, you can totally pick up on that. I'll show you where. See how we're gonna start the ride? Like, yeah, you start up here. Yeah, you can all the way, already go down here for the pre-lift. And then you're going up the lift hill, you know? Um, we still have a couple more roller coasters to tour after this. I'm hoping we make it up here. We don't have the same problem as Ultimate the other day. Um, but we made it up. Um, let's eat a little bit while we're on the ride. Yeah, you go up the, I forget what this is called. Um, I think it's gonna call it a step up under flip on this ride. Go over a big airtime hill um, into a wave turn. It's a pretty long ride. Um, it's got a lot going on. It took a pretty long time to build. Um, I'm excited to ride, like make more rides like this, big roller coasters. Um, I definitely want to make some more themed experiences, especially on video, um, just because those are honestly just the ones that, oh my god, I almost hit a chicken. The themed roller coasters are definitely the ones that make the longest impression on you. So, yeah. We're almost done. Here's the final couple hills, and then we will slide right up into the brake run up there. Here we go. That was Woosh's Revenge. I'm going to get out now. Hopefully, okay, the game just froze. Um, hopefully it'll make it back. Um, I just don't want to have to go all the way through the queue line again. Okay, I guess I am. Well, I guess I could jump up here. Eh. We'll just go through the queue line. So... Over here, we will hit this real quick. This is the Hotel of Dreams. I'm not going to go up there just because... Um, oh, there is a fox trying to get my animals in the Amazing Animals room. Yeah, get away. Um, but yeah, it's a hotel with all kinds, whatever you want. It has that there. Um, I'm actually going to be destroying the hotel in here and rebuilding it in the town when I get a chance to build the town. That will be coming up soon. We will be building our first building when my house is complete, so be watching out for that video. And then we will build that shortly after. Um, right here, we have the park's drop tower, the haunted mine drop. Um, you go into this mine area, pretty cool. You step into the booth right here, and then you hit the button, and it locks you in here, it flashes, and then you will drop. There we go, whoa. It is a pretty big drop. It, actually, the first time I like tested it, it actually kind of like scared me. So you know you built something right when that happens. Um, and then, you, unfortunately, you do have a pretty big climb back up, um, but it's all right. Um, we are around like the 20-minute mark for this thing, but I'm just going to keep it going because we only have a couple more to do. We have the rides back here. So yeah, that was the Haunted Mind Drop right there. So we have a couple more roller coasters back here. And then we have a couple more mini games. And then we will be done. So this video will probably run for about 30 to 35 minutes. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. I certainly am. So we have one roller coaster back here that is... In real life, we have Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. And I am going to go through the queue line. Definitely am most proud of this queue line. 
um, out of any of the other ones. Like if, if I made a list about the top 10 queue lines in the park, um, this would be number one just because I dug down and went into a cave and yeah, it's definitely the longest queue line here. It definitely sets the mood for the ride since this ride is kind of like that. Um, I'm actually gonna bang my head a little bit so I can go kind of faster. Uh, but yeah, it sets that like mysterious vibe of, wow, I'm gonna be in this kind of like area, you know, abandoned area, it kind of feels like that. Um, it definitely sets that vibe for this ride. I don't know why that's broken. Um, yeah, oh, okay, okay. Things are actually spawning in here. Hey, give me that XP. Yeah, I used to have this um, park on Peaceful, so there are some things that may have monsters around them that wouldn't used to. Um, and this ride is honestly one of them because there are a lot of dark sections of the ride. Um, and it just goes along the ground a lot, so... A lot of the times there are animals like foxes and all of them running around like turtles and all of them um, that do get in your way on this ride. So we will try to avoid that as much as possible. Yeah, there is a creeper already waiting to ruin this ride. Um, hopefully we're going to be going fast enough to avoid him, but I'm going to have my bow out. This will be my shooting dark ride, I guess. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. This is definitely going to be a shooting dark ride. Okay, go away, go away. Let's run away from all of them. Let's see what we have over here. Okay, we have a lonely fox. Just got on the track, try to kill as many things. But yeah, this honestly would be fun if I could make a shooting dark ride. It will be coming eventually. Um, we have these things, which if you let them out, I believe it's if you let them out and you make eye contact with them, they will follow you forever. So yeah. And it, like, I don't think you can kill them either. The only way I've been able to kill them is with TNT. So they are in there. It's actually kind of scary because if they all get let out, you are in for a real scary time because they will follow you and you really can't kill them. Oh my gosh, there's like six zombies down there. Going through this little building, get all the way fox. Um, I don't see any mobs around here right now, which is great. Ah! Don't blow up, please. Don't blow up. Okay. This part of the ride goes this way, and then it'll go backwards into this little cave area. Okay, they just despawned. This is what I'm kind of worried about because it's very dark in here. Hopefully, we don't find any unexpected guests. Okay, not yet. Here is my kind of interpretation of a drop track. So you're kind of at the end with this flashing light. And I will show you guys the redstone rooms eventually, um, which is kind of the inner workings of the entire ride, which this is not the only ride with a redstone room. Most of them do. And oh my Lord, those are creepy. Go away, shoot them. Hit him, hit him. Hopefully no phantoms try to get me on the ride. And I see one trying to get me right now. I shot one. Okay, I have the poisonous arrows now, so we really shouldn't be attacked. So, yeah, that was Hagrid's Mag Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventures. One of the rides I'm most proud of here, this and Velocicoaster. Right here we have Afterburn. I also have a ride to kind of shout out while we are on this. Okay. Get out of here. This is not your ride. We have an Enderman down there. Let's see if I can try to shoot him. Oh, he's after me. He is after me. Okay, right over here we have the thrill of nature. My girlfriend is currently building this right now. Oh, God, there's two Endermans now. Great. This is going to be fun when I get off. I might ride this again, honestly, just to get them out of here. Okay, they're really following now. But if I kill them, I get an ender pearl, so that's nice. Um, I don't think there's a ton of, like, really long walks. I mean, there kind of is now, but not really. This ride is pretty long, so I'm hoping I will lose the enderman. I think I have now. I don't think they're still following me. But that was scary. Oh my gosh, what are those mobs? I've never seen them before. I really haven't played this game for a while. 
Um, duh! That actually scared the crap out of me right there. Oh no, why did I stop? Why did I stop? Why did I stop? No, 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 no. Okay, we're getting out now. We're gonna keep the minecart. Get out. Okay, whatever. I'm leaving. So yeah, that is this section of the park done. The very back, um, hopefully we do build some more rides back here at some point. Um, okay, right in here. I'm glad we're going to... Okay, there are kind of like... What is this? You're cute. I think that's like some kind of like snow rabbit. Okay, there is a phantom coming though. I've never shot one. They're hard to shoot in the air. They're very hard to shoot in the air. Okay, let's go in here actually. So this is my doggy assault course. So it's basically an obstacle course for the dogs. When I, are, is there a phantom in here? Are you serious? You followed me. You followed me in here? I'll kill you. Do phantoms drop anything? I think they do. Oh, no, they don't actually. Just XP. Actually, no, they drop whatever that is, but that's all right. Okay, so yeah, um, dogs would try to do this. They go along, you'd be right in front of them, and yeah, you, yeah, you get the idea. Okay, right over here we have staff only. This is the behind the scenes of this roller coaster. Drop of Doom, that was a ride that used to be here. It was actually a recreation of Zoom and Jaro Drop of Doom at Six Fives Great Adventure. Why are you attacking me so much? Oh my god, this guy's gonna kill me. Stop. 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 Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Stop. I need to get my hunger up. Or my... Or my health. I'll kill you. Yeah, don't follow me, man. They're all kind of just right around me, so... I'm hoping... That since I'm moving so much, they won't be able to get me as easily... Um, okay, we're just gonna run as fast as we possibly can. Um, there's also a creeper right over there. I think they're despawning now. But yeah, that was scary. Um, this is a recreation of Top Thrill 2 at Cedar Point. Why? Where did you go, even? Is that you all the way up there? Where are you? Where is he? Oh, I hit him. Thank the Lord. Um, so yeah, this was actually a recreation of King Dakka at Six Flags Great Adventure, but then they announced Top Thrill 2, and King Dakka was kind of in the way of Whale of a Time, so I was like, what better thing than, because Top Thrill Dragster at Cedar Point, um, got transformed into Top Thrill 2, and yeah, so I was like, this is perfect to make King Dakka Top Thrill 2, because they're essentially the same ride. Um, just different color schemes, and of course you have to make it go backwards and forwards. So right there, I made a very complicated timer to go from a detector rail at the very front all the way to the tower and go halfway up there to stop the train and send it right back. That took quite a while to do. This is actually like the catwalk for the train, but right under here we have all the redstone going to the tower from, I'll point out the detector rail, it is right around here. I'm sorry if my voice is getting kind of raspy. I'm very thirsty, but I'm not going to stop the video just for that. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not that detector rail. That changes the positioning of that rail to make you go all the way up this tower. It's the detector rail coming basically right out of the station. So yeah, hopefully I will be able to finish this tour by the time that um, it becomes like before it becomes night again which I think I should be able to. Uh, we only have this little check, uh, section of the park to tour left, so I should be able to get that all done now. Um, so now, here we go, that's the detector rail that sends the signal to the tower to send you back, but now we did not hit that detector rail, so we are gonna go all the way over the tower and go all the way back. It's a very, very long ride because of how slow Minecraft makes these powered rails and how, yeah. Like, if it went a lot faster, this ride would be nowhere near as long. But it's alright. 
Um, I probably should have had the um, send back a little closer down here. Like, it's right there is where it sends you back. But for right now, it is just a lit up power rail, so it sends you all the way up here whenever we get to the top. <laughs> Like, right about now, we're going to go over. These lights go up at night, um, so that's pretty cool. And you slowly make your way down the tower, and you go down a lot faster than you go up. This part of the ride, I believe, is in my outro, or it's in my intro. One of the two, it's either that or a lost coaster. It's one of these shots of the ride. Um, there is, I believe that's a polar bear down there. Oh, oh I poisoned him. I didn't mean to do that. I thought I was just going to hit him. I'm going to stop hitting animals. I'm just going to hit Googlies from now on. And this part is very slow, the brake run. Um, I wish it was a little faster. Sorry, guys. That was my dryer. So, yeah. That is the end of this ride, Top 02. Um, pretty proud of this ride. Um, yeah. Right here, we have... Um, okay, this is just another pathway to go back to that section of the park. This is the Duncan booth. Um, this is kind of the Duncan area of uh, the park. You could basically sit in this minecart. Is something in here? No, okay. And you try to shoot that um, button. And I can't do it right now, but basically, if you hit it, you'll see a little trap door up there open. Somebody else will be up there and they go right into the fish tank. Um, this is the redstone room if you're interested in how this works. It's not a lot. Um, this was actually a pressure plate that was supposed to be. Yeah, basically, when that thing gets hit, it'll shoot a signal all the way up the tower, kind of like Top Thrill 2 does, to make that. That's the tower, and then it'll go all the way up there. So, yeah. Here is the next Duncan. This is Duncan Donuts, actually. Um, and yeah, you can order whatever you'd like. And right over here, we have the Duncan basketball, which I will be honest, isn't very cool. Like there isn't really a way to play it. Like you can't shoot something that high in Minecraft, but I think it just looks nice. Um, yeah. Eventually, I will make a mini game, kind of like basketball. But I just haven't had any ideas yet. But hopefully, we will make one soon. This is Jungle Book the Ride. This is actually a recreation of Thunderhead at Dollywood. Um, which I called it that at first, but then my sister was like, Hey, if you put a bunch of trees around this, you could just call it Jungle Book the Ride. So... I ended up doing that. Yeah, well, there's a tree on top of the station. And then there's also trees all around the ride. So yeah, you go down this first little pre-lift area, kind of like um, Wushu's Revenge, but not really. It's not quite as good. Definitely slow down right here. Um, I'm just going to push us forward a little bit. And then you're going to go up the lift hill, which was actually the hardest lift hill to make in the park to get it to go all the way up here slow. Then, cool drop. Okay, don't look at that thing because that's what I'm talking about. I don't know why it's out right now. I don't know how that guy got out. But thank gosh I'm not very near him. That's always good to see. Um, right here, we have the only coaster in the park with a station flyby. Like, yeah, going right above the station. Which is a very cool thing for this ride to do. And then right here, we go on this final turn. Actually, no, this is a final turn. This ride really never ends. Um, going around kind of the spaghetti bowl. And then right here, you will go up into the brake run. And that is Jungle Book the ride for you guys. And we have, I think, yeah, I think, oh, I dropped my sword. We have, I think it's gonna be two more rides. Or no, two, that's the, that's the last ride for this park. Jungle Book the Ride. Um, we have 
three more things. I think I did drench, but I'm gonna go over it one more time. Um, right here we have a gift shop. This was uh, not stocked at all, but this was right over there and it was very nostalgic to me. So I moved it right over here. This is the ugly duck fling. Oh no, pretty duck fling. Um, and there should be, I have a fishing rod on me. Um, there should be ducks in here. I believe. Yeah, they're all on this side. Um, so what you got to do is you try to get all of them onto, you set a timer and you try to get as many to your side, like, um, no, as many to the other person's side or maybe it's yours. I don't know. And yeah, when the timer runs out, um, it's whoever has as many or as little as like ducks as you can. So yeah, pretty fun game. I've always wondered what happens when you break a honey, like kind of like a bee home. I might try that before the end of this video to see what happens. I wonder if they'd all go crazy and like an eruption of bees would come out. Um, but yeah, I believe I toured this, but we're going to try it one more time as the last thing that we're going to do in this video. This is drenched. So basically you'd get some string and you would place it in the other person's thing and you'd try to find an, oh, there's a little bit right here actually. And the other person would try to find it and the first person to get it all would have to lay it out right here. And then when this is all laid out, it would drench the other person and all the string would come up and yeah, the other person would get drenched in here, all using one bucket of water up there. So it's a pretty fun game. Um, I just don't play it a lot because, I don't know, it's not my personal favorite. But yeah, I think it's just because I haven't played a lot. I have the same problem with Fashion Sense. Um, yeah, I'm going to break this honey thing over here and see what happens. Let's see if anybody's home. I'm going to break it. Oh, they're mad. They're very mad. Yep. They came right out. Okay. So they all get one hit on you. So what are they going to do? They have to build a new one now. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this tour of the park. Um, I certainly enjoyed making this video. I'm going to go up to the top of Drenched to see if we can get a little bit better of a view of the park. Um, maybe. See if we can get a better view so I can get a thumbnail and we can have a good view to end off this tour. But yeah, thank you guys all for joining me for this tour of the park. If you are still watching, that is amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. There will be a lot more Minecraft videos coming up. And yes, it is a pretty good view. Um, but yeah, a lot of more Minecraft videos coming up. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will leave a link to the merch in the description below. And other than that, aim high, not low, and never quit. Peace.